last week? Uh, honestly, just give it to God. You know what I mean? Trusting my routine, being consistent, and knowing every week's different. So uh, last week's behind me, and I have to keep proving it. Marcus, uh, how important is it going to be this week to maybe get back to some rhythm offensively, start sustaining more drives? It's going to be crucial, you know what I mean? And we have some things implemented this week to help us do that, uh, get everyone involved, run game, passing game, uh, and just keeping that chemistry going uh, on both sides of it, complementing each other, honestly. We feed on each other, running game and pass game. So. The other day about A.J. and sometimes that he's, you know, he's fine being a decoy. Wondering if you thought you might have benefited at all from that last week. Uh, you know, the tight coverage on A.J. helping you at all? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it gives me more man coverage. And that, uh, just, that's my job, go out there and win. So uh, the way I, I believe in myself, I have the confidence to line up against whoever and know that I can make plays for this team. So that's how I approach it. I hope that, that not a ton of people, I don't guess, have a big scouting report on, on Marcus Johnson at, at this point. Hey, they need to do their research. <laughs> I, I, I made a few plays in this league, so. Uh, I mean, it's been a little bit, right? Yeah, it, it, it's been a little bit, but uh, – I think it's one of those things, like, they just have to they have to be prepared. I'm sure they are to an extent, but it's different. You go out on the field, maybe it's a coaching point that they've already covered, but um, when you play, you line up against me man to man, you know what I mean? You got to gotta go to work. So that's how I view it for guys that I might not be too, super familiar with or whatever. So. What's the momentum like as far as the receiver's room, as far as you mentioned guys consistently kind of stepping up and making plays no matter who it is and how much you guys feed on that? Uh, it's huge, you know what I mean? I think it's a confidence booster for everybody, coaches, players. Uh, there's a dynamic when you step into a huddle. Like, you, everybody kind of looks at each other, and it's like, do you trust that guy in front of you? And I think for that receiver room, we look at each other, and we have that confidence. Uh, when you're face-to-face -face with Taylor Lewan and Roger and all these other guys, initially, when you first come in, a young guy like Dez, Nick, it can be intimidating. I know for me when I was younger, but now you step into it, and you know, like, I'm going to come out here and make a play and help y'all guys out. So. Uh, it's just resilience. I mean, you it's football. It's, it's, it's human error. You're going to have drops. You're going to make mistakes. And it's the ability to bounce back and still believe in yourself, especially as a receiver. Um, it's so mental when you go into a game. And that first catch, like I had against the Saints, can be a confidence booster. Or you can get in your head and start second-guessing yourself. So that's how I view it. It's kind of like having the ball on the ground and making sure you guys are watching, like you can get off the ball. Is, <laughs> is there like a, a message that he has behind that? Or what, you know, from your perspective, is, is the reasoning for that focus this week? It's just cadence. We have so many different snap counts, and Ryan's constantly changing it to help us and to try to draw the defenders offside. So uh, it's just for us to lock in and to know when you line up, don't get too comfortable and forget. I mean, so many things running through our head, don't forget the snap count. So it's just that routine of making sure we're on that. Telling us, you know, watching this Texas team on tape, they still seem like they're very locked in, specifically on the defensive side of the ball. What's your evaluation and looking at where they are right now? The Absolutely. They're talented. It's a talented group. And um, our receiver coach just made a great point today. You know, these are grown men. We're in the NFL. This highest level of football. And no matter what your record is, you still have a family to feed. Guys are fighting for their jobs. So uh, we don't take any of that for granted. And we know how that is. I've been on both sides of that. So you still got to go out there compete and win your matchups for sure. Urgency been heightened. I know that was kind of a message for you guys this week. Do you feel like there's been an increase in the, in the level of urgency for, for everyone out there? Urgency as far as? Uh, I, I think Coach Brable and maybe some of the other guys just said that they weren't too happy with the level of urgency in the Saints game. So that was gotcha. kind of a focus going into this week, you know, come right out of the gates. and. Yeah. You know, no, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those first two drives we had against the Saints, kind of having those three and outs, not getting a lot of momentum going. Uh, there's a thing we always preach, get the first first down. And then we, I mean, statistics have shown that we play a lot better when we do that. So that'll definitely be something we keep in mind.